double trouble. Are you seeing double? If so, you're in trouble. <laughs> so what is double trouble? Well, James 1.8 defines double trouble for us when James says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You see, the divided mind or the double-mindedness of doubt affirms belief in God, but then questions God's character or ability. And if you see your negative circumstances from God's perspective, well, there's no problem with that. But if you see double, it's a big problem and you're in trouble. So welcome to Morning Walk. I'm so glad that you've joined me uh, this morning, Wednesday morning, for another walk of faith as we consider the subject of double trouble. <laughs> you see, double-mindedness is, is basically separation thinking, which kind of plagues the human race. We've all grown up with this independent mentality of separateness. And when a Christian loses sight of God and becomes oblivious to God's presence in their life, they often think that they're on their own and they're doing their own thing. Can you relate? <laughs> I don't know of anybody that can't. And yet this double-mindedness occurs when you walk by sight rather than by faith. This is when you look at the situations of life based on your human senses. What you can see, what you can touch, what you can feel, what you can think, all on your own. And so that causes the double trouble. And when you live like that, you live based on the seen rather than the unseen. And, and as a result, you're not deriving from your spiritual senses, from your spiritual life, which is Christ as your life. So, what are the signs of double-mindedness? Well, it's faulty thinking. It's thinking that God is far away from me and I need to get closer to God. How many Christians do you hear that believe that? Or maybe you've heard, or maybe you said yourself, that I must become more like God. Or I'm weak and I need God to give me more peace or I need God to give me more of this or that. Well, that's double trouble thinking. <laughs> you see, this kind of spiritual, and I'll just say it for what it is, schizophrenia is a, a split with reality that produces uh, what our society is so fond of, and that is a false self-image. And the result is that it really develops into a instability of mammoth proportions. You see, your soul will become restless and unsettled and dissatisfied if the way you're living is all based upon you and what you can do and what you can't do. And you will begin to feel like you're all alone and you're doing this all on your own and that God is no longer present or at least he's far removed from you and the situations and the problems that you face. And this is obviously an, a common occurrence when we see double. So, how do you view yourself this morning? Are you single-minded or double-minded? Well, a double-minded person is concerned about what others are saying. So much so that they ignore or they're not hearing what God has to say. Whereas a single-minded person has but one concern, God. What's God saying? What's God doing? 
You see, the antidote to double-mindedness is having a divine perspective, deriving from what God is saying and doing in our lives. The opposite of double-mindedness is a single mind. And single-mindedness is God consciousness. A single-minded person looks to Jesus, is aware of Jesus, is participating with Jesus, sees themselves as the reality of who Christ has made us to be, really seeing ourselves in Christ, united and not divided. So walk today as the single-minded individual that Christ has made you to be, trusting and believing and not doubting and not living in double trouble. Till next time, please share the videos with a friend. Give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so.